This construction site near the Alex Fraser Bridge is part of the improvements to Metro Vancouver's largest wastewater treatment plant. Improvements that will help serve the region's residents for the next 100 years. The yellow pipe suspended underneath the scaffolding is called a diffuser arm. It will be part of a new outfall system that will disperse treated wastewater from the Anasis Island Wastewater Treatment Plant into the Fraser River. The new outfall system is needed to accommodate population growth and the effects of rising sea levels on plant operations. So as you can see behind me, we have constructed a temporary above water structure in the Fraser River. And this structure has a total of 11 winches, which will be used for vertically lowering the diffuser arm. At Metro Vancouver, we're always looking to the future. We need to make sure that the systems that we have continue to remain operational during seismic events, as well as capable of handling the increase in population growth in Metro Vancouver. This new diffuser arm is built to bend, not break, during an earthquake. It also has more of these valves than the existing system to allow treated wastewater to discharge over a larger area of the river, minimizing environmental impact. A tugboat slowly removed the barge from beneath the 130-meter diffuser arm, leaving it suspended above the river. And the next day, the diffuser arm started lowering down to the Fraser's riverbed. This was the first diffuser arm to be installed for the new system. A second arm will also go in for even more effective dispersion of the treated wastewater.